Check out the house next door. Pretty neat, huh? You're in a small, friendly village in northern Maine, Washington County. Life starts at 29. It's 71 degrees, even though it's November 10th. This is a heat wave. This was the church parsonage, right across the street from the house of worship. Hello, I'm Maine Realtor Andy Moores. This is a two to three bedroom home with a bath and a half. You can walk to the store to everything Danforth offers. Outside entrance makes it awful easy to put stuff in your basement rather than drag it through the house. Gonna need some shingles coming up on that asphalt roof. The windows are insulated. There's a bath and a half. It's not a bad little backyard. You're also such a short walk to the downtown grocery store, to the school, to the library, to everything. This house represents a good solid value if you're looking for something that's vinyl sided, has new windows, quick occupancy, quiet neighborhood, and you have a first floor bedroom with a half bath, a laundry, two more bedrooms, and a bath that has double vanities. There's a lot to brag up. I'm just going to have to shingle the roof kind of up. Hot air heat is how it's heated. There's a full basement, not really deep as far as playing ping pong down there but it's a home for the furnace, and there is an outside bulkhead to it. Come on, let's go check out the entry that has a laundry room in it. This would be ideal for telecommuting from a home office. All finished in knotty pine. There's your laundry hookups. This would be removed from the rest of the house, so you could have a little daycare, a home office. Laminate floor, there's a half bath down on the end, all by itself. It's big enough to reconfigure and put a shower in here. That's the door to the basement. We'll go there last of all. Sure, we do basements. You want to see it all, don't you? See the built-in spotlights? Modern kitchen cabinets? The side-by-side -side refrigerator, the gas stove stay. Here's from another angle. And there is a pantry closet. All kinds of room to make this an eat-in kitchen. Your living room has an eight-foot bay window. Pretty swanky front door, too. More laminate flooring. And it's an open staircase. Cable TV. High-speed internet. You're in town, remember? It was the ideal parsonage right across the street from the church. Two bedrooms, a bathroom, upstairs. But what if you need a first floor better? We got you covered. Deep closet in this one. This could be a formal dining room, a den, but what about it used as a bedroom? Plus there's 200 amp electric. Now we're talking. 200 is a lot of power. This is next door to the castle. They're fixing that one up now. See the staging? Bedroom one. I'd ditch the rugs. It's mostly laminate throughout, except for the bedrooms on the second level. Deep closet in this bedroom, insulated windows. And they did do laminate in the closet. Here's bedroom number two across the hall. Needs a little better adhesive on the joint compound tape. Do you know how to mud? Deep closet couple windows. This one's easy if you ever had to get out in a hurry. Your view, your escape under the metal roof that's over that knotty pine entry. Bathroom has double vanities, his and hers. Double sit-down shower. This is a proper sized bathroom. You've got plenty of room to slide in a claw foot tub too. Here's the interior way in that half bath off that front den. This is your basement walls with big granite, stones, mortar, cement floor. 
lots of PEX tubing. That oil hot air furnace is sleeved because you're a fairly new fuel tank. With the modern bathrooms and kitchen, they've done some updates. There's your electric water heater over in the corner. How fast can you get in? How fast can you pack? This one has a quick occupancy. Be part of your small town. This is Danforth. Here's where your groceries shop. Here's where you bank at Machaya Savings.